Hey guys, these are cute decorative decor tables that I love so much because of the mirror and gem effect that it has. I'm trying to see if I can make a different design using the same mirror and gem effect, but using something other than wood. Now these are organizers that I got from the Dollar Tree that I want to use. I also have this leftover wood that I've had at home and I cut it to the size that I'll be needing for the project and then I'll be covering up the edges that will be showing with tape. This is a storage box that I've had at home and then I had to get another one from Walmart to make it two. And that's what I'm going to be using for the top. I placed the wood on top of both boxes, which is actually at the bottom, but it looks like it's at the top. And I secured both boxes with the wood with screw nails. These organizers that I got from the Dollar Tree are going to serve as the legs. Because of the nails that I used to attach the wood to the storage box, it has taken away two of my drawers. So now I'm left with just two drawers. I secured all of the organizers to the wood using screw nails. This has to be done tightly so that the organizers can stay sturdy and upright. I attached the remaining organizers to the remaining three points and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to be adding extra ones at the top to make it longer. These are the nails that I used to attach the organizers to the wood and at the back I used the bending plate to make sure both boxes at the top stay in place. Now I'm going to be adding and stacking up one more on top of it to increase the length I took a foam board and cut out pieces that I'm going to be gluing at the top before gluing on the organizers. I will be using E6000 glue and a hot glue gun to attach them together. I was just trying to come up with a way that I can use other items at the Dollar Tree to create legs for a table. I couldn't see anything at the Dollar Tree for the top, so that's why I had to use storage boxes and wood that I already had at home for the top. But then for the legs, I went for organizers that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Now I have attached all of the organizers and now I cut out foam boards that I'll be using to cover them up. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be using hot glue to attach the foam boards to the organizers. I'll be putting another foam board here. I did this for both sides and this is what it looks like. You remember the mending plate that I put here? Well, it affected the drawers inside, on this side and this side. So when you open up the drawer, this is where the nail was going to come out through. So I had to cut out just this part here so it won't affect the drawer from coming out. And I did that for both drawers. I then took out all of the drawer pulls because I'm going to be making my own. I cut more pieces from a foam board to cover up the front. I'll be making use of this mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree to make the mirror and gem effects like the other ones that I've been seeing in pictures. Now I did get two of these mirrors and then two of the smaller mirrors and then glue them by the side and I'm cleaning down all of the mirrors so that the gems will adhere properly. To get this mirrored look with gems on top, these are the gems that I'm going to be gluing onto the mirrors. 
Now I have seen a lady on YouTube called Home Time Designs and she is so amazing. She has used this technique for a lot of her designs and I am so in love with the way they look. Other YouTubers may have used the same technique, but I know that I've seen a lot of designs from her using this technique and you guys should check her out. She has amazing designs that she's used this for mirror decors. I did this till I got to the end and repeated the same thing for the other side. This is a leftover piece from another project. If you can see at the bottom left, that was the mirror decor that I used this piece for. And I had two other pieces left, so I took the pieces and I will be cutting them into two to give me two equal parts. And in total, I'm going to have four. This is what I intend to use as the drawer pull. And then to hold it would be this tower blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just took out four and I spray painted them silver. I made holes in the middle using my drill gun. And at the back of the photo frame that I cut into four, I removed this part here because I won't be needing it. This is how they're going to be positioned. I took a block and then I drilled in a screw nail in the middle. And then all I'm going to be doing is putting it at the drawer and then turning it round until it's tight. And then this is going to be on top of it. I like to remind you guys that the top drawers are the ones that work. The ones at the bottom will remain permanently closed because of the wood that I had attached at the bottom using nails. I'm using E6000 glue to attach these parts on top of the tower blocks. And then the drawers that are permanently closed, I'm going to be attaching them with a strong adhesive also. Now this is not going to be used, it's just to make it look uniform. Now to add to the design on the table, I'll be using plates that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using just the outer circles and cutting it with a pair of scissors. Now this is really tricky when you're cutting it. You can just cut a little part out first to give you more room to cut the whole thing all around. Another way of cutting out the outer circle is to carefully rotate the plate and to bend the scissors at an angle that's convenient for you while cutting. Because this plate is really tricky to cut, you're definitely going to have few cracks. Now I have few cracks of my own, but it's not much. But then if you have an obvious crack, you just tilt the plate a little bit and it won't be noticeable. I'll be making use of these arcs to form a design on the table. Now for the arc on top of the drawers, I'll be cutting it into two. This is to make it easy to open the drawer and still have your design on. To make sure that the arcs are uniform, I held them all together and then cut them at both ends. Because the material is plastic, I'm going to be applying the hot glue first to the surface and waiting for about 2-3 to three seconds before pressing it down. When I finished the pattern on this side, I did the same thing to the other side. I cut out a foam board to the measurement of the top of both boxes that I have on the table and I'm going to be covering it up with Mod Podge as a protective layer. This is the first layer after it's dry. Now I'm going to go around again with the second layer. This is how it looks. And then I glued it to the top of the table with a hot glue gun. I used gems to cover up the rough edges of the pool. And then I used mirror mosaic tiles to cover up the edges of the arcs. The gems there will give it an extra shine. This is what the table looks like. And it's so pretty.
I added gems inside the arcs just to see what it was going to look like. Now these gems are not permanently there. I just wanted to see what it was going to look like and if I liked it. And then I also made a design at the middle. So there you have it guys. The ones with blinks in the arcs. And the one with no blink, which still looks pretty by the way. I'm so excited that I tried out the idea of using these items that I got from the Dollar Tree and making a table, with the exception of the boxes. The finishing of this table is totally up to you. You can leave it bare or you can add extra bling to it. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.